Yep, you guessed it. Another disappointment. Sadness. And it sucks because the scent's excellent. And when it's in its element, it's just amazing. It performs flawlessly. I guess they just keep rotating it from season to season, collection to collection, and then it just ends up in the pits, you know, somewhere along the line. So you never know what happens. Perhaps my candle's just a bad candle, but I don't know. It's kind of like Creamy Pumpkin Part 2 in regard of performance. It's not throwing, and it's just same wax colors, same wicks, the pits. So here we have a three wick in Pineapple Mango, um, a part of the fall, wink, wink, fresh picked collection, burning or trying to burn desperately downstairs. And this one says, Tantalizing Pineapple is the perfect partner for luscious mango in a fragrance rounded out by a hint of warm vanilla. So, you're witnessing a third day burn, and I guess the wicks are super thick and fat. My theory was always if the wicks are, you know, nice and thick and fat, then that would produce a higher flame, giving a better performance, but it's not the case. It actually did the total opposite. So, the wicks are like this chunky, fat, rope-like wick with like this extra white wax coating around them, and that alone would say or guarantee like a good burn, but no. <laughs> total opposite. So I lit the candle, the wax melted and pulled out, and it didn't. It just didn't do that. I mean, I would like to say it did, but the first day it just didn't do that. It literally tunneled and canyoned all the way down the center. Even with the cotton balls, I mean, I always say that if a candle, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. And when the flames are just, or the, I lit the candle and then the flames were super, super tiny. And I guess like that made the wick just kind of die out. So I used the cotton balls, tried to absorb, I guess, the little bit of wax that was there that had melted. It didn't work because the wax didn't, um, it wasn't even trying to, or it couldn't pull out around the edges. It just wouldn't do it. So the flame was so short that it couldn't produce a good flame to melt the wax completely. So with that being said, the cotton ball trick, it just, it wouldn't work. You, you have to be able to have these candles work with you, and when they're not working with you, then nothing really helps. So I said, forget about it. I had it going for like eight hours straight, nothing. So I'm like, you know what? Let it go. Just go back at it the next day. So second day comes around, same thing, tunneling. And when it tunneled, like it was going deeper into the tunnel. <laughs> so it really didn't do anything for me. And I couldn't, and by the way, I couldn't smell a thing first day or second day. So those days were just the pits. Now today is the third day and I've had the candle going for about, let's say, eight hours. And it finally started to self-correct. Um, you see a decent sized wax pool. And let me show you like the flames up close and personal really quickly. They're barely making it. They're like kind of burning aimlessly, trying so hard. Um, if you can see, the tips have like the little white crap on top of them that everyone hates and that just kind of ensures that the burn's going to be terrible, but that's where it's at. And like right over here, like the wax just wouldn't melt at all. Like it just wasn't trying to melt. You can see like the remnants of the wax being melted, so, or trying to melt. But yeah, it wasn't doing anything. And... Yeah, we're looking at just a disaster. The flames are barely making it. Yeah, it kind of disappoints me because I like the set. And thankfully, I stocked up on the one that was a part of the Fresh Picked in the spring because that one was excellent. I'm talking good throw, good burn, top to bottom, no worries. This one, total opposite. And it's like, this one's in the White Barn collection. Why in the hell is it in this collection not burning? I could see if it was flawless in this collection, but it's not even flawless. So it's like... All right, <laughs> so whatever. And as for a scent throw, you're not gonna get it. It's just, you can't smell a thing. And it's so annoying because I like, I genuinely like the scent. But the scent itself, it's basically pineapple, like a pineapple concentrate juicy type of a scent. Not super sweet, but kind of like tart um, pineapple with a dash of mango. Now that you can't smell anything, you can't really detect the mango. But when it's going and it's good, you can get like a mango. Usually it's pineapple with a touch of mango, but when they had it out earlier this year, it was the perfect blend of the two, like great blend. 
And the mango is just like a fresh, ripe mango. Really simple, basic scent, but I don't know. Didn't work out this time around, and it will be going back to the store. <laughs> that's all I have to say about it. It's it, no vanilla. You don't smell any of that. You just get fruit. And that's it, so let me quit talking your head off and let you guys go. Thank you so much for listening and watching. I really appreciate it. Of course, you know you have to comment, rate, subscribe if you haven't done that already. And as always, God bless you, and I'll talk to you all soon. Thanks. Love you much. Bye.